The second chance exotic is not that bad. I am pleasantly surprised about how decent these things actually are. They state that they give you an extra shield throw, which they do, don't really need to test that one, and that your shield throws become shield piercing and stun barrier champions, in which they do very, very well. They will stun barrier champions with one shield throw hit, uh, which is just as good as Arbalus, which is one of the reasons why Arbalus is so good in the first place. But what I'm a bit more interested in is the other effects of shield piercing, in which it has mixed results. It won't shield piss stuff like Hydra's, but it will shield piss stuff like Night Shield and Hobgob and iframes. The reason for this is I have no idea, it just kind of picks and chooses randomly. But other than that, these gauntlets aren't actually anything too special. They don't inherently upgrade your shield throw or anything at all. I mean, they give it shield piercing, but that's an anti-champ thing. It's not like everything explodes when you throw your melee kind of stuff. It's also very obvious that these are built for high tier content, which is why I'm gonna focus this build around high tier content. Specifically, this build's gonna be focused around giving your melee back as much as possible. And to do that, we're gonna be using heavy handed. This states while your charge was light and you used your charged melee, you'll get back half of your melee instantly. And a unique interaction with these gauntlets, if you have two stacks of charge with light and you use both melees to get back half of your melee each, you will get a a third shield which you can immediately throw. Uh, editor's note, it does not. I am just as disappointed as you are. Back to the video. But obviously to use heavy handed, you're gonna need a way to get charged with light, in which we're gonna be using melee wellmaker and elemental charge. Melee wellmaker means when we kill an enemy with our melee, which you'll probably do a lot, you will summon a void elemental well, and then elemental charge means that picking up that void elemental well will give you two stacks of uh, charge with light. <laughs> then on top of that, we're going to be pairing this with taking charge and stacks on stacks. Taking charge means that when we pick up an orb of power, we gain charge with light. And stacks on stacks means that charge with light stack will turn to two, meaning we will have constant uptime with our charge with light stacks. You will also have to spec into orbs and your teammates can as well to support you. And then, and to be honest, my biggest recommendation with this, Please pair this with Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo, among other things, states when you hit enemies with the gun, it will reduce your melee cooldown. And that's just hitting enemies. All you have to do is damage the enemies to get your melee back. This will give you a lot of melees and give you a lot of free reign over your melees. And it's not all useless because this season you can also pair it with overload auto rifles to have another champion killer. And then finally, I recommend pairing this with Echo Provision and Momentum Transfer. These both have the same effect and they state that dealing damage with your grenade will reduce your melee cooldown, meaning if you ever run out of your melee, you can throw your grenade to give yourself back your melee. Plus, you can also pair it with Weakened Grenade to have even better champion killing capabilities. And then just to put the cherry on top, I'd really recommend pairing this with controlled demo, meaning that your shield throw hits will apply volatile to your targets, giving you some much needed ad clear and some single target damage, as well as offensive bulwark, meaning when you have an overshield, your grenade recharges faster and your melee does more damage, which again will apply to your shield throw, giving you a bit more single target. Other than that though, that is about it. These aren't anything special. Uh, but in low tier content with this build and controlled demo, you will be ad clearing the shit out of everything. But then again, there are a lot of other builds that can also do that. But I'm pretty damn sure that they will come in highly into play in high tier content due to those shield piercing capabilities. Other than that though, that's about it. Enjoy the gameplay. See ya.